how's it going guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a tire review i will be reviewing these mickey thompson baja pro xs they are a 38 by 13 and a half by 17. a little background info when i was in the market for some tires i was looking into the mickey thompson the baja pro xs and I went on YouTube looking for reviews, but I couldn't find anything that wasn't a biased review or from someone that was sponsored or someone that essentially worked for the company. Basically, kind of went in blindly and I went ahead and bought them anyways. I feel like it's my rightful duty to give the first real review from an actual person who is not sponsored and not biased. There's a lot of buzz behind these tires, but there's not a whole lot of information. I'm going to try and give my honest opinion. When I first picked up the tires, they looked really aggressive. And I was like, oh man, they might be a little too aggressive. But once I got them mounted at the tire shop, I actually fell in love with how it looked. They gave the Jeep a totally different look. After that though, we started running into some issues. I'm not going to name the tire shop, but I did tell them to balance them. They said they balanced them, so I went ahead and drove the car away. And it started getting really, really shaky at pretty much every speed, 10, 20, 30 miles per hour. I got onto the highway and it was basically almost undrivable. It was just shaking like crazy. The seats were literally shaking, the steering wheel was shaking, everything was shaky. I was like, oh my god, what the heck is going on? I took it to another tire shop. I mean, they said that the tire shop didn't balance them correctly. So they went ahead and balanced them the right way with the balancing beads. And it started driving a whole lot better. It was still shaky, but it was definitely much more manageable. With how aggressive this tread is, make sure that you get them balanced properly by a tire shop or an off-road shop that knows what they're doing now that we discussed balancing them correctly i'm gonna go ahead and discuss psi's at first the tire shops they set it to about 35 psi and it was still a little rough so i kept uh, adjusting the tire pressure and trying to find that sweet spot i went to 30 i tried 27 25 23 21 all kinds of tire pressures and the one I found that ended up being the most smooth ride for me personally, it might be different for you, obviously based on the tire size, how you guys balance them, the weight of your vehicle. But for me, the tire pressure that worked is 23-ish pounds. Now that I have discussed getting the tires balanced properly and finding the right tire pressure that works for your vehicle, I will now be talking about the pros and cons. I want to end today's video on a positive note, so I'm going to be talking about the cons first. The cons about this tire is they are really loud on the highway. I know they are a DOT approved tire, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be quiet. It's actually super loud and pretty damn obnoxious, almost to the point that I have to wear earphones now, and I'm not lying about that. I have about 2,500 highway miles and they already wore down quite a good amount. Basically, if you have these tires, don't expect them to last very long. Another con about these tires is that when you first take them out, they're really stiff. The sidewall is super stiff. You do have to air down really low and break them in. I want to say after two trail rides, they started to bulge a lot better and they started to hook. Those are basically the only cons that they're really loud and the tread wears down pretty fast. Now I'm going to talk about the pros. One of the first pros is that I do like how the tires look on the Jeep. They make it look really aggressive and it gives it a totally different look. Another pro about these tires is they do really well off-road. I've taken these tires to the Rubicon, Slick Rock, the trails that are here in SoCal and Big Bear, Cougar Buttes. And I didn't have any issues gripping at all. I didn't struggle. These tires basically blow my old mile stars out of the water as far as grip is concerned. Overall, I am happy with these tires because of how well they perform and this Jeep is not my daily driver. So if you are looking into buying these tires and if you daily drive your Jeep, you should not get these in my opinion 
because they wear down really fast and they're obnoxiously loud especially on the highway on the street it's not too bad but on the highway at high speeds it gets really loud but if your jeep is more of a trailer rig then you can go ahead and get these and you'll probably be really happy with them. Hopefully this video was helpful for anybody that's looking to get these tires. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment or DM me on Instagram. Other than that though, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe.